Hi, I'm Sandy Streck for LBR Educates. And today we're gonna take a look at a creative dozen roses that's gonna be in a column style. What it's gonna do is feature an area of negative space in the middle of that. We're gonna put the roses in a circular pattern, but you can see here in the middle, I have some of the midnight foam. And when it's wet, you can crumble it up and make rock-like structures. And so that's what I have in the middle there. And I filled that in already to just remind myself like a do not use space. We're gonna start off with some of the static lines coming in using some of the red twig dogwood and just start those insertions. So you can see all of those branches are placed in an upright pattern. So that makes that columnar shape. And um, so next we're gonna start um, with our roses. Today we're actually using a hearts rose. And I like the hearts rose because it really kind of gives a customer a story in the middle of the rose. It's one that's a high petal count and it's got a heart shape in the middle. So that's a story that one of your customers can go and take home and be able to tell their loved one about the uniqueness of that rose. We're gonna come back and forth and stair step these down. So I'm gonna come up a little bit higher with this one here. So they're at, they're at different levels and I want the levels not to be a specific spiral down because that'll make me have to go a lot slower. Um, but so I'm just gonna come in and come from one side to the other. And next come in with one in here. You can see I'm holding my stem down beside my table. Then I can see the exact height that I can get to so that my bottom of my stem is going down into that good base and a great insertion into the foam. The heads on these are facing up versus out. So keeping that linear shape So you can see that the roses are at a variety of levels and the visual pathway moves from one side of the arrangement to the other, all the way down into the base area. We're gonna add a little bit of nage foliage down at the base, just to give a little bit more of a visual balance to it, to um, make the scale in proportion of the height of this design feel in proportion with the uh, container that it's in. And then we want to add a little bit of different textural influence into it. So I have a little bit of the green trick dianthus and also the green hypericum. And that's going to help bring that green color all the way through the design. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm coming in on the outside, holding that hypericum. And this would be stair stepping down in this design as well. And you want it facing upwards so that it's going right to the sun. I have three of these green trick dianthus and you can see I've kind of put them in a triangle pattern. That way I have that connection 
that goes, that geometric shape that goes through the base of that. Last thing we're gonna do is, is just enhance that spiral motion a little bit more. So I've got some lily grass that I'm gonna come in with and um, putting a couple pieces together here. And I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna pull one a little bit further than the other so that I get kind of a two for one on this. And I'm just coming in, making a loop, putting the ends through and pulling it and just tying that there. That way you can see that you get kind of two for one on that by splitting those. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that as a visual accent into the design and add a little bit more um, motion into this piece to add visual interest. Here's our dozen roses that's done in a column style design and it features the hearts roses that have that high petal count and you can see those petals form the shape of a heart and so that's a great conversation piece tell your customers that unique rose that's really an upgrade and give them a story to be able to tell their friends and family in this design, we've used the negative space in through the middle to really add that uh, value perception. And just adding those different textural elements, bringing it down to the base, stair-stepping that visual path throughout the design creates a fabulous floral. I'm Sandy Schreck for LBR Educates.